Hi everyone, this is Megan Monsell, your cancer expert, and I'm the owner and CEO of Cancer Peace University, where it is our goal to set you free from the fear of cancer. And in this video, I'm going to talk about a vital supplement protocol that can help during a cancer diagnosis and has been used in a variety of pivotal manners to support during a diagnosis. Pectin is a carbohydrate substance found in the inner cell wall of most plants. Pectin is found in high levels in the pulp and peel of most citrus fruits, including grapefruit, oranges, and lemons and limes. Now, it's important to note that you can't just eat a lot more of the pulp and peel of citrus fruits and, fruits and have the same impact of taking modified citrus pectin because Researchers found a way to modify pectin by changing the temperature and pH in order to cause the fibers to become shorter and more readily absorbed in the digestive tract and the bloodstream so that modified citrus pectin can have a greater impact on the body. And modified citrus pectin is the most researched substance to act as a block to a chemical called galactin-3. What is galactin-3 and why is it important to block galactin-3 in the body? Galactin-3 is a normal chemical found in the body that is used by the body to heal wounds and produce scar tissue. However, in cancer patients, galactin-3 has been found to be elevated and overexpressed and can play a role in tumor growth and even metastasis. In some studies, it has been found that galactin levels, especially in epithelial, epithelial and immune cells, has been correlated with cancer cell growth and metastasis. And galactin-3 has also been found to decrease apoptosis or normal cell death, and cancer cells evade apoptosis or normal cell death. Galactin-3 has also been found in elevated levels to increase circulating tumor cells ability to adhere to cell walls in order to improve and increase tumor growth in the body. Galactin-3 has been found to increase metastasis and increase cell growth and differentiation. Galactin-3 in one study in Alberta in Canada, the University of Alberta in Canada, this study found that elevated levels of galactin were associated with an increase of cancer cell proliferation in breast cancer, prostate cancer, and melanoma. Modified citrus pectin has been researched as a blocker to galactin-3, but how exactly does modified citrus pectin accomplish this? Modified citrus pectin has been found to actually stick to the substance of galactin-3 when it is attached to cancer cells and neutralize galactin-3's ability to cause cancer cells to clump together and will cause the cancer cells to become slippery and not allow them to clump and continue the growth and the increase of the tumor burden. Modified citrus pectin has been able to be shown to neutralize this impact. And in one study in prostate cancer patients, the use of modified citrus pectin over a year in prostate cancer patients, at the end of one year, the PSA levels were dropped on average by 70% with one year of using modified citrus pectin. Modified citrus pectin is also a natural chelator and it is a gentle chelator. It's not an aggressive chelator that can cause secondary resettlement issues with toxins that can actually cause the body to go through a worse impact of these toxic metals trying to resettle in the body. And someone even with amalgam fillings or nickel implants can even use modified citrus pectin because it is a local chelator, a natural chelator, and is a more gentle chelator than other chelators that can be used. In one study at Amitabha University in Northern California in 2006, participants were given 15 grams of modified citrus pectin, pec um, pectorsol C, in order to see the impact over a period of several days. On day one, 
15 grams of Pectisol C were given. And after 24 hours, there was an increase of excretion of the toxic metal arsenic by 130%. On day six, 20 grams of Pectisol C was, were given to par participants. And there was an increase, a marked increase in the excretion of the toxic metal cadmium. And cadmium increased in excretion after day six at 20 grams by 150%. And after day six, there was a huge increase in excretion of lead. There was an increase by 560% of the excretion of lead out of the body because of the use of 20 grams of Pactosol C. The other amazing thing that was discovered in this study was that the minerals, uh, the mineral levels of zinc, magnesium, and calcium remained intact and were not altered by this protocol of using modified citrus pectin. Modified citrus pectin also will inhibit cancer cell communication while increasing healthy cell-to-cell -cell communication. Modified citrus pectin can be used with children and the dose can vary. It can vary from 1.5 grams to 20 grams as we saw in that study um, at Amitabha University in Northern California. And Pectisol C is the most researched form of modified citrus pectin. If you're a holistic practitioner and you're wanting to learn more about Cancer Peace University and what it would mean to become a Cancer Peace University instructor, our next training program is starting next week on Tuesday, August 6th. Send me a personal message or email me at cancerpeaceuniversity at gmail.com if you would like to learn more about Cancer Peace University and if you'd like to enroll in our full course for Cancer Peace University. Thank you so much and have a great day.